I've beaten the game without ever accepting Melina's offer, sacrificing my fellow Tarnished in the process. It's time I made amends and prepared myself for the DLC, so that I can help others like a pot-shaped friend that came before me. But there's one last maiden that I need to slay. Oh, we're so back! Alright, let's get started. I actually discovered that beating the game caused some quests to break. Roderica is stuck in a dialogue loop, so we won't be able to upgrade our spirit ashes. After all we went through to get it. But that takes us to the first step of our journey. Acquiring the two halves of the Halig Tree Medallion. The first is easy enough. Just gotta talk to this guy and... <clears throat> Sorry about that. The second half I was not excited for. Commander Neil locked himself up here because he lost his maiden in Kaelid. Now he uses his power of PTSD to have us fight his demons for him. Luckily, I've played Pokemon. Fire beats eyes, dumbass. Without his summons, Neil's got no legs to walk on, and I quickly acquired the second seal. That was just the warm up. Things are about to get spicy because. I have to travel this hellscape on foot. Oh fuck. You are fated to die in obscurity. You even comprehend the gravity of this choice? Hello! Is anyone out there? Ah. I can play the No! In this maidenless era, we can work together! Take down the last maiden, Melania! Die in obscurity. Nah, I'd win. Hey man, know how to get to Moog's palace from here? I heard he took Mikola and he's supposed to be getting ready for the DLC. Oh shit. It was self-defense this time, he invaded me. Now before we continue on to our Lady of the Hour, I think we ought to pay Vare's old master a visit. The Maidenless Palace, our greatest challenge yet. At least the locals are friendly. How wretched and decayed this place is. I was close to becoming just like them. Thanks to my silver tear mask, I brought some blood magic of my own. Moog's weakness. My gods. They lost the struggle. They're all incels. We end this now. Dearest Mikola. <sighs> uh, fucking creep. Welcome, honored the guest. To the birthplace of our dynasty. Alright, we start this fight like most other bosses, proccing poison and bleed before he even reaches. It only took one swarm of flies to cause him to bleed, so magic may actually be viable here. Once again, we're in the realm of being bigger shit. But not everything is a one-shot. I started out playing safe, just spamming flies, but I quickly found out that Moog was all too eager to spread his own brand of HIV. Not to mention he has deceptively long reach from choking up on his shaft. Luckily, just the tip isn't as bad as getting hit with full shaft. I also tried using Flame of the Red Mains again, but FromSoft nerfed it to the ground. They really thought this game was just too easy for me. Well, fuck you, FromSoft. I've got spirit summons now, and they're useless. At least the jellyfish may distract him for a second, or contribute to poison buildup. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. To be honest, I was feeling pretty good. But then I met Phase 2. Looks 
look how much health he got back. Everything is harder now too. Nearly all his attacks one-shot me, and they leave this fire trail that will cause his weaker attacks to one-shot me too. Not to mention proccing status effects gets more difficult every time. Poison and bleed weren't enough, so I decided to add a new element to the mix. The chilling mist Astro War seemed perfect for me. It affects a large area and applies frost every second, then buffs your weapon with additional frost after, and that damage was looking nice. I brought some fire pots to remove the frost so I can reapply it quickly. Now I was just starting to burst them down. If only I had enough DPS to skip phase 2 entirely. Everything was going smoothly, and I was on my best run yet. I could see victory ahead of me, until I was hit with huge lag spikes. I took a break to let off some steam on some nearby demi-humans when I stumbled across the coiled snake shield. This puppy packs a deadly poison, strong enough to fell barely anything, but at least it helps. It bumps up the DPS, but you gotta reapply it more often, so pick your poison. With this new find, it was time to reinspect my build. Be gone with magic! I have no need of thee. There are a lot of resources I've garnered throughout this journey, and it's time I use them. Rune Arcs. I plan to save them from Lania, but the strength of Godric's rune is required. And with it, my power was unmatched. Your lineage ends here, Moog. And Mikola, I'll tell Millennia what happened. Perhaps we not need to end in bloodshed. On to the next leg of our journey, and back through the snow. The Halleck Tree is protected by this Ordina checkpoint, filled with snipers and assassins, but they don't look that scary. Hey, how's it going? Guess I gotta bring a bigger gun. Now we're free to move as we please. God, I wish that were me. No time for that. We've entered a holy place. I said a holy place. But a lonely maiden's rot completely corrupts it. And yet you still stand guard, Loretta. I beat you all the way back in episode one. You can't hope to pose a threat to me now. Okay, she's a bit stronger than last time. And while I still had the muscle memory to dodge her melee attacks, her spells became quite annoying. And while nowhere near as difficult as Moog, I wanted to get to the main act, burning through rune arcs in the process. Oh, another Maidenless Tarnished. Perhaps she can help. Would you assist me in ridding Mikola's legacy of its rot? I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self. That allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. The pride she abandoned. To meet Radan's measure. It is clear that both you and Melania understand the struggle. I will help bring her a dignified end. In order to receive Millicent's aid in the coming battle, I need to help her with her own first. Just give me a minute, Millie. I'll catch up in a sec. Millicent's sister sought her strength, like how I hunted for the recusants. No longer. I stand with the sickly, the rotted, the weak. All maidenless tarnish who require my aid. Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. With your help, 
I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. If I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Then you die a proper death. Your struggle was not in vain. I will honor your wishes and bring Melania a proper death of her own. No summons, no magic. But will I alone be enough to bring death to the blade? My flesh was dull gold and my blood rotted as I awaited his return. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. You will soon enough. Alright, the build I used against Moog won't work here. She has a massive poison resist, but thankfully both bleed and frostbite are still incredibly useful. Once again, most attacks won't one-shot me, and I wasn't even running any defensive talismans. The ones that did would kill me no matter what gear I had. The attack hardest for me to dodge was not Waterfowl Dance, believe it or not. But this fucking dash, because I swear I dodged it. What are these hitboxes, Miyazaki? She ain't that thick. As a result, I was quickly running out of rune arts, but I had a feeling I'd make this last one count. Got you now. Damn it! I was greedy. Have I really learned nothing? How can I fulfill my promise to Millie and all other Maidenless Tarnished out there? Wait, that's right. Why not help one another on this lonely journey and engage in jolly cooperation like the ancient texts describe? This struggle is not one we must face alone. Allow me to be your faithful servant. This is my purpose as a no-life gamer. To guide others on their journey before I complete my own. Training and emotional arc complete. I think I'm ready to face Melania now. Hold on, stranger. Care to play a game? And who are you? Surely you remember the game you've been working on the past six months. If you're a fan of roguelikes and vampire survivors, you can support this here maidenless tarnished by wishlisting the Mega Circle on Steam. For more on that, at the end of your journey. With the power of friendship, I have the rune arcs I need to continue the fight, and I changed up my strategy. Every round would begin with snacking on exalted flesh and sipping my physic. Then I just let Melania walk into my mist as I apply some blood grease and start slashing. Exalted flesh gives a 20% damage bonus, Frostbite grants another 20, Millicent gave me the rotten wing talisman for another 13%, as long as I continue to play aggressively. Uh-oh. As for my physic, I switched around a few options, but stamina regeneration was always a necessity. I died way too many times just from running out of stamina. Did you know that after running out, there's a delay before you can sprint again? Why? I know I said waterfowl dance wasn't the hardest for me, but it certainly wasn't easy. I have a tendency to be impatient and play overly aggressive. I sort of gave up in close range, until I developed this secret technique. Hiya! Yeah! 
Okay, it wasn't a very consistent strategy. Retreating when she reached 70% health and baiting it out of her was my go-to move. I may have lost our duel, but I'm here to win the war. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to wishlist the Mega Circle on Steam, subscribe, see you next time. Wait. Huh? What the hell? Ooh, pretty. The scarlet moon flowers once more. You will witness true horror. I haven't died already. Scarlet Aeonia gives us some time to reset and punish with the Black Bow. It'll be our one chance to breathe. And I died pretty quickly. After another hour, I hadn't reached the second phase again, so I was worried I had just gotten lucky. I decided it was time for another power-up. Imagine if I had a real... One last battle, and it will all come to an end. Naga keep his extra reach is just what I needed. Sit the fuck down! But it wasn't just my blade, my bow, my grease, my rune arcs, everything. But above all else, I enjoy the struggle. As you see me struggle to lore walk right now, it's because I'm shaking. I've never done a challenge run before. I've never beaten Melania without summons. And I did all of this just in time for the DLC, where there will be an even harder boss for me to beat. Melania truly is one of my favorite bosses, even if she has some bullshit here and there but it becomes a little less bullshit when I bring a bit of my own. 
Though our journey is still not complete, Mikola still has to show us how to become a maiden of our own. But until then, please like, subscribe, and it would mean a lot to me if you checked out my game, The Magus Circle. You have to draw on screen to cast spells, and I'm truly addicted to my own game. The wishlist link is in the description, and hopefully we'll have a free demo out for you soon. Until then, I'll see you next time.